I took Duke in 21 points, and you know what? I still think that was an excellent pick on my part. Miami's just too darn explosive. Final from Hard Rock. Canes 53, Blue Devils 31. All right, Miami now 9-0, but it started off well for the Canes. It looked like it might be 53-31, but then Duke played so well for the rest of the first half, it looked like we could have an upset brewing at Hard Rock, but not to be. Uh, Trey Freeman with a great pass breakup in the first uh, drive of the game for Duke, but Cam Ward on a third and 10 completed to Xavier Restrepo. 7 nothing Canes. Historic day for Xavier Restrepo. He became the all-time pass reception leader. Catches and yardage, number one all-time. Think of all the great Miami players throughout the years. <laughs> Reggie Wayne, Andre Johnson, Michael Irvin, we could go on and on. It is Xavier Restrepo in the number one position in both of those major categories. Miami 7 to nothing. All right, Miami at its first back-to-back 200-yard -back rushing games the last two weeks against Louisville and Florida State since going all the way back to the Duke Johnson days of 2014. They would only get 126 against Duke, but on 31 carries at 4.1 per carry, still a productive rushing day for the Miami offense. Cam Ward made a mistake and uh, misfired on a play on the second drive and Duke also had an excellent tackle for losses. They stuffed up the running game. They got the punt down to the five-yard line, did Miami. And then Miami gets it right back because on the first play from his own end zone, Malik Murphy, former Texas product, I don't know what he was thinking. He had a player running a streak down the right sideline. I understand that, but he threw it blindly. It was a Brett Favre heave against the Philadelphia Eagles in the 2004 NFL playoffs. And that's what it was. And it was a punt to the 45-yard line as Ishmael Powell picked it off. And again, he had to wait for the football to arrive. Awful throw by Malik Murphy. And guess what? He did it elsewhere in the game. And this, of course, the much-anticipated return of one Manny Diaz, who coached at Miami from 2019 through 21, three seasons there. And a similar winning percentage, actually, Manny Diaz compared to Mario Cristobal, although the trajectory right now for Cristobal straight high in the sky. So Miami only had to drive at 45 yards on eight plays. It was a run drive this time. Cam McCormick with the touchdown. The nine-year college football veteran with the touchdown. Miami, at this point, had 156 yards of total offense to five. Canes led 14-0. You figured, forget it. But we know this Duke football team. They're tough and gritty. They should have won against SMU last week. They had the game-winning field goal lined up and missed it and lost in overtime 28-27. They won the turnover battle 6 to nothing. According to ESPN, teams that lead the turnover battle by 6 were 134-1, but count Duke in the loss column in that one against SMU. So the Canes, yeah, out, and they are rolling at this point 14-0. But Duke starts to put some explosive plays together. And after they went punt, that awful interception, and another punt, they started rolling off plays of 21, 27, 27, and 40. They got a touchdown drive rolling off all of those big plays. Got uh, Samir Hagens free on a crossing route. The Miami defensive back was lost in traffic. And suddenly, two touchdowns on the board. The second one uh, from... 45 yards out, 14 all at this point, so Duke's got some life. Cam Ward consistently was pulling the Houdini act, but he's been doing that all season. You know what? He's been doing that his entire career. You know what? He's been doing that his entire life, I'm sure. Now, Duke finally did collapse him in the pocket on a third and goal play that forced a field goal that made it 17-14 Miami at this point. Uh, so, Duke was hanging in this ball game certainly this duke program all time against top five opponents three and 33 had lost 21 consecutive games make that 22 they have not defeated a top five uh team since going all the way back to 1960 against navy uh, the beginning of the second half uh we had a 17 to 14 game and actually duke 
took the lead at 21 to 17. They just kept ripping off these big plays through the air, mostly and on the ground as you check out the stats right there. Malik Murphy started one for six with that, again, atrocious interception that he would revisit. But he went on a 10 for 12 run for 183 yards. And Duke led this ball game 28 to 17. Trailed 14-0, and this was a game of streaks. Miami 14-0, Duke 28-3 run, and then here comes another one, and this would be the one that would finish it off. Jacoby George with a remarkable catch. Four catches, 74 yards, and Xavier Restrepo again with another excellent reception. The first touchdown grab Restrepo had was off a deflection where Cam Ward was circling around a zillion times as he is apt to do and he was pinned against the sideline and he ripped off a throw in which he was going for another receiver supposedly probably but it deflected off a duke defender's hands who had the pass breakup lined up and restrepo was right there to gain the deflection uh before it went out of bounds for the seven to nothing lead restrepo again on this one as he broke free for a long touchdown run Eight catches for a buck 46 for Restrepo. And again, historically, the number one guy in the record books at Miami. Here we go, 28-24 at this point, And Malik Murphy throws up another one up for grabs. It was actually 28-25 because Miami went for two. Although his wide receiver, Jordan Moore, did not run through the catch. And uh, O.J. Frederick, the freshman, Almost made it like a punt return all the way back to the Duke 38-yard line. And Jacoby George again burns the defensive back in the bunch formation. So Miami lines up three wide receivers to the right. They make it look like a screen play with two guys blocking and one guy set up for the screen play. But then the second guy or the third guy psh, rips off with a go route. Cam Ward hits him in stride. And Miami takes the lead at 39-31. Duke's last gasp effort in this one, the last glimpse of hope that they had in stemming the Miami Tide, which again went from 28-17 Duke to Miami closing out on a 36-3 run. That's how explosive this team is. Yes, they have hung on the high wire act a number of times against Virginia Tech and against Cal in particular, but when they get it rolling, Wow, check out the South Florida game. It was much like this game where it was mm, slugging around for a while and then all of a sudden they rip off five touchdowns. Five touchdowns and six drives in the play I was mentioning here previously. Chandler Rivers of Duke made a remarkable interception where Cam Ward, once again, he gets himself into trouble. He was rolling around, flying all over the place, spinning and turning and extending the play. And then he tries to throw the ball all the way across the field. Excellent interception by Chandler Rivers with 10 minutes left. Only down eight points. But this is the one time in the game when it counted that Miami's defense made a stand, forced the three and out. Bad punt by Duke. Miami at great field position. They ripped off five touchdowns in six possessions only interrupted by that bad Cam Ward interception. Miami wins 53-31, also aided by a Jadace Richard pick that set up a short field that closed this one out for the Canes. Cam Ward, did I mention him? 25 of 41 for 400 yards on the dot and five touchdowns and the one bad pick, but you can accept it after 41 pass attempts and all the yardage and points that he produces. He's up near the top, if not at the top, of college football in all the major passing categories as the Canes move on to 9-0. Check out the schedule. Who's going to defeat Miami? They do not play SMU or Clemson. Duke is a fine football team, but they are 6-3 and three now with a loss, a second consecutive disappointing loss. They truly felt as though they could march into Hard Rock and win this game. And again, Manny Diaz with his return trip to Miami could not get it done and salvage some level of revenge against his former team. Comments and questions below. And of course, lock it in here at the Voice of College Football. Check us out on our weekly Wednesday show with Cam Underwood from State of the U on Miami Football. Wednesdays at 7 Eastern on the Miami channel with Cam Underwood of State of the U. We'll see you with more instant analysis and of course, the call-in show after all the, po the primetime games right here at the Voice of College Football.